everyone. Time to do car number two of the fleet. This is my pride and joy. A 2014 Dodge Charger SE. This was a Canadian government issued vehicle. However, it is not, it was not like a police cruiser or anything. I don't know what they used it for, but it does have factory tint. Uh, had a trailer hitch on it when I got it, so it has a trailer tow package on it. A little bit bigger brakes, a little bit bigger sway bars, and it has a certified dash. Otherwise, it's just a basic SE model. Um, I have a thing for Canadian cars, if you can't tell. I, I do. I don't uh, hunt them down or nothing. They just kind of, they just kind of sit in my lap. But this car is from Ontario, Ontario, the capital, and. Um, I said it was used I think I think we figured out it was owned by the CSIS which is sort of like the equivalent to the American CIA and uh, I don't know why you ever, before you ask why the doors are a different shade of gray than the rest of the car I have no idea it was like that when I bought it um, so my only guess is they must have gotten to a fender bender with it and had it redone and didn't do it right so but uh, I put the K9 sticker on there, and because uh, I have a, a boxer pit mix that sometimes goes on car rides, and I just thought it kind of looked cool. Painted the wheels when I got it; it had silver wheels on it. I put the little bullet caps on it. Um, see my little Punisher license plate surround thing. I got a thin blue line. I actually went to school to be, attempted to go to school to be a police officer, it didn't work out, and but I do support the police, um, and I'm just going to leave it at that, uh, all this craziness with the defunding the police I think is crap, but whatever, a few bad apples ruin it for everyone, that's how it always goes, so... Special Service Police Badge. It's actually a Ford part, but I put that on there to kind of give it, because it looks, this car is nicknamed Mr. D. Because it's sort of like a plain looking dude in a gray suit, right? So, like I said, factory tint, it's like 20%, I think. And, uh, again painted the wheels I did a few a couple little mods to this car nothing crazy um, oh I painted the grill which needs a touch up I put the Punisher license plate on the front of it those are actually aftermarket uh, fog lamps that were on the car when I bought it so and they work well they're real bright I'll show you guys the engine real quick not really much to look at, but uh, show it to you anyway. You can see holes in the dash from something. And, uh, you know, a little this, a little that. Like I said, it's just a basic SE, really. It just uh, got used for official business, but we don't know what. So this car, being it was uh, not a cruiser, has the V6 in it, 305 horse. It is a, it is a, it does have a bit of a, a uh, spec to it, I guess. Uh, police spec horsepower. It's a 305 horse rather than 292, which isn't really that much. But yeah, it's just a V6. Not special. I got a bunch of parts we got to put on this. I just haven't done it yet. Um, all kinds of stuff. Got a K&N drop-in filter in it. I used to have a... Looks like my hood's leaking a little bit. I just went to the car wash and I got... Suds and water everywhere. So The seal on the hood, I guess, is leaking a little bit. So this car is California and Canada and all kinds of emissioned out. So it's, uh, don't know what the deal is with that, but yeah, it's got a K&N drop-in filter anyway, back to 
what I was saying, and I uh, had a aftermarket Spectre cold air intake on it when I first bought it. I bought one, but the filter kept falling off, and I said to heck with it, put this back on. So maybe down the road I might invest in the Mopar cold air intake box and everything, or just keep this box and then get some tubing to run. I kind of like that better. It's probably cheaper just to get some tubing and run this with the K&N. But anyway, um, only other mod I've really done to the car is it has Flowmaster 40 Series uh, True Dual Exhaust on it. And uh, I put a T-handle Mopar uh, shifter, not a uh, lever in it. So... It's got my, my funny little floor mats. Um, but yeah, so get in here, as you can see, it's got almost 160,000 miles on it. And uh, certified dash, like I said, but it's all very basic. It's got the little 4.1 inch screen and all the regular stuff for a 14 model, I guess. Like I said, I have no idea what they used this car for. But they did have a trailer hitch on it. I took that off. The trailer wiring still in the trunk. And uh, this car looked weird with a trailer hitch on it, let me tell you. But uh, I'll start it up for you guys. So it runs real good. It does need some work. I gotta do an oil change. I gotta do a spark plug change because the spark plug has never been changed since I've owned the car and I don't know when it was done last. Uh, just haven't gotten around to doing it because you gotta pull the, in the upper intake off to do it and I'm just lazy. I'm just gonna make it simple. I'm just lazy. But, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but yeah, it's got, a, it's got those flow masters on it. Sounds pretty good for a V6. You know, it's these uh, these 3.6 engines. They, they they got a little more of a higher raspier tone than like the 3.5. So yeah. But, uh, that's it. There's really not that much to show you. I mean, other than any other car, it's got all the same creature comforts you get in any 2014 model base model vehicle I guess and uh, but I like it I've been a Dodge Charger fan since I was way back I grew up watching Dukes of Hazard and all that you know and um, so I've been wanting a Charger and when these came out this body style came out in 11 um, I really wanted one. I love the styling of this car. So when I was I had the chance to get a 14, I jumped on it. V6 or no V6. And actually, for my uses, um, the V6 is fine. I mean, it gets I can get around 27 miles a gallon on the highway if I don't got my foot in it. Um, and uh, sometimes I can get 30, but I really got to be hyper miling. And uh, 305 horsepower at the crank is plenty of power for me. I mean, I, I grew up in the 80s and 90s where cars were barely making 150 horsepower. So uh, even V8s. I mean, I, one of my favorite cars I ever owned was a Delta 88. And uh, small block 307 Olds with a floor barrel carburetor is 140 horsepower. That's it. So... This is plenty of power. Plenty of power. Because I mostly stick around my town. So. But we'll take you guys for a little little toot. I don't know if you guys can hear the exhaust or not. I got the air on and the windows closed. Because it is pretty, pretty warm out there today. This thing says 70, but that's not correct. That can't be right. It's supposed to be like 80, 88 degrees today or something. So my... Uh, 
ambient temp sensors uh, malfunctioning so I guess we'll look into that but uh, there's no way it's only 70 of course I don't know where that ambient temp sensor sits exactly it might be right behind the grill but um, I don't know <laughs> we'll figure it out it's not an important piece really Yeah, it runs good. Drives very well. Like I said, needs a tune-up and an oil change. I got some high-performance brakes for it. And um, haven't put those on yet either. You've probably seen the rotors sitting on the floor in a couple of my videos. They're slotted rotors. And... Yeah. This is car number two. We'll get to car number three. Uh, probably in a few days. It's my project vehicle, although it's kind of making me pull what's left of my hair out right now. Just can't seem to figure out what's wrong with it. So let me pose this question to you guys. Uh, I got a 92 Chevy S10 Blazer. It bucks under acceleration. That's the problem. Will sit and idle pretty all day. As soon as you give it gas, it loses its ass and falls flat on its face. So, I've changed a bunch of ignition parts, a bunch of sensors. I won't go into the list until I show the truck on camera, but just know that spark plugs, wires, all that stuff's been changed. Map sensor, all kinds of stuff. Changed it out, thrown, blown the, hell, not only have I shot the parts cannon at it, I've thrown the parts cannon at it. Um, I'm thinking maybe a, uh, a weak fuel pump, because honestly, fuel delivery is all that's left. We've replaced everything, ignition, anything that has anything to do with the ignition uh, system on that truck's been absolutely replaced. Even put a new fuel filter on it. So that's been done. So I think my fuel pump is weak. And with everything else that I've come across with this truck, everything has been factory and it's a 28 year old truck. So I think the fuel pump's probably factory too and it's probably just getting weak. But uh, yeah. So stay tuned, we'll show you that. And a uh, couple of days here, we'll show you the Blazer. The 92 S10 Blazer, that's car number three in the fleet, which currently does not work. <laughs> and uh, there it is right there. It's a rusty, crusty old Michigan Blazer. So with that all said, we'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching.